friends, this video on improvement in food resources, part 13, is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will discuss about poultry farming. So before we get into poultry farming, let us first see if all of us are clear with what is poultry. So if I guess people who are non-vegetarian, they must be aware of the term poultry. But for those who are vegetarian, let me just tell you what is poultry. So poultry is nothing but a term used for domesticated birds kept by humans for collecting their eggs or killing for their meat. So now there are a set of birds which are domesticated. That means they, they are uh, kept under care so that you can collect the eggs laid by them and those are the eggs on which people feed, right? And or sometimes for killing the birds to get their meat. There are people who feed on chicken meat or uh, not only chicken, there are other birds as well on whose meat people feed on. Uh, at the same time, they also feed on eggs laid by birds like the eggs of um, ducks. Some people feed on duck, uh, eggs laid by ducks. Some people also feed on the, there are a couple of birds on whose eggs people feed on, for example, ducks, hens etc so let us have a look at poultry farming now so these are some of the birds which are domesticated for example here you can see the hen the chicks and uh, the duck what is the purpose egg production and chicken meat so humans collect the eggs laid by these birds and also for the chicken meat so the chicks are killed to get their meat so often these chickens which give meat are known as broilers so broilers is the term which is used for the chickens giving meat right so now let us look at the poultry farming breeding so how is the breeding taken care of crossbreeding is done to get desired improved qualities so everywhere the purpose of crossbreeding is that that we want to get uh, our desired qualities which is not existing naturally. So let us look at this example of crossbreeding where this Indian breed Essil is crossbred with this foreign breed Leghorn. So this is the foreign breed and this is the Indian breed. So when they are crossbred, the product which is formed will have some improved qualities. What are those improved qualities? I mean, what are those qualities for which we actually crossbreed these? Number and quality of chicks. So the number of chicks which are produced are more and also the quality of the chicks are better. So if the quality of the chicks are better, then it is good because people are actually feeding on the meat of the chicks. Dwarf broiler parent for commercial chick production. So the chicks which are produced, they are smaller in size. Dwarf means small in size. So if the broilers are small in size, it helps in chick production commercially because the small broilers are better for commercial selling. Summer adaptation capacity that means they have capability to sustain in higher temperatures. So we ensure that when these two breeds actually cross breed the product which is obtained they can adapt to high temperatures. Low maintenance requirements Low body weight, hence reduced feed costs. So the resulting uh, bird which is formed is smaller in size. So if it is smaller in size, it has lesser body weight. So it needs lesser food. So we can reduce some of the feed costs. So these are some of the advantages of cross breeding in case of poultry. Right? Okay. Now let us talk about the broilers specifically. How care should be taken of the broilers because broilers are the one on whose meat the humans will directly feed on. So they should be provided with vitamin rich food because if you provide them with vitamin rich food they will stay healthy and they will not have any diseases. So that the humans which, who feed on their meat also do not get any diseases. So they should be given vitamin rich food. Ensures better growth so that they grow properly avoid mortality so broilers should not die because these broilers if they die because of some disease or something then that is a kind of loss right so people don't want them to die so the so it should avoid mortality that is why they should be given good food they should stay healthy and then they should be killed and the meat should be and the meat is eaten by the humans sent to markets for meat purposes so that is the purpose of the broilers 
Now let us look at the poultry farming which deals with the egg production. So broilers are those on whose meat people feed on. Now this egg production is the one, the birds which are kept and taken care of and their eggs are collected. So proper hygiene to be maintained in housing and poultry feed. So you can see in the picture how they are put inside a cage. But at the same time, cleanliness and hygiene should be maintained inside the cage. Otherwise, the eggs might get some kind of infection. And again, when those eggs are eaten by human beings, they can also get some kind of diseases. Right. So proper hygiene should be maintained. Disease and pest control measures to be adapted so that the, these birds do not get any kind of diseases because if they get some kind of diseases the eggs laid by them might also have some kind of diseases so we talked about breeding now let us talk about feeding so what kind of food should be given to the poultries when we talk about broilers since they are the one on whose meat people will feed upon they should be given protein rich food and with sufficient fat that is why you would have seen that people who are non-vegetarians and who feed on this chicken and muttons and things like that who, who consume meat some generally they tend to put on more fat if they consume excess of meat so that's why if they want to lose weight people often say that turn vegetarian do not eat too much of fatty foods right so these broilers are actually given protein rich food food which are rich in fat what about the poultry birds that means the birds whose eggs are eaten so they should be given food which is rich in vitamin A and K because when they are give, when they are given vitamin rich food it helps them to lay eggs right so this this kind of food should be given to the poultry now is disease control how do we control diseases so for disease control almost the same things for all types of animals cause of the disease here also nutritional deficiencies maybe if they do not eat proper food they can get diseases because when we do not eat proper food we don't get the required nutrients our body tends to become weak and we, we become more prone to diseases so the same concept is true even for the poultry microbes like bacteria virus or fungi so these kind of microbes can also cause infection and diseases in them parasites again who, which can affect their host body and cause diseases. What are the control measures? Cleanliness and proper hygiene. Use of appropriate disinfectants. So as I said, cleanliness and hygiene is something which should always be taken care of in case of all kind of husbandry, whether it is cattle farming or it is poultry farming or, or it is fish production or it is um, beekeeping. So everywhere cleanliness and hygiene should be maintained. Use of appropriate disinfectants. What are disinfectants? Uh, these are the substances which get rid of infection. For example, you would have seen these kind of lotions like Dettol or Savlon. What are they? They are nothing but disinfectants. Often you'll see that for a newborn baby when you wash their clothes, people generally put some disinfectant so that even if there are some kind of infection that will go away with that disinfectant and again vaccination so again in poultry also there are some kind of diseases which are common and for which vaccines are already available in the market so those vaccines should be given on time to the poultry birds so that they are not they do not suffer with from the same disease thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.